Parents outraged this morning after a teacher used Dr. Seuss-style lyrics to openly mock them as bigots at a recent school board meeting. Here to react, Fox News correspondent Griff Jenkins, along with Fox News medical contributor Dr. Nicole Sapphire and Fox News contributor David Webb. All will be on the big Sunday show later today. Uh, David, I'll start with you. She was criticizing parents over their concern for sexually explicit content in some books. What's your reaction to her poem? Well, I'd like to put a couple things on the table for everyone watching, and this is important, so I'm going to read it. When you go to Round Rock ISD, it says Round Rock ISD is where children can achieve anything they want to be. But in Round Rock, 8% of black students and 11% of Hispanic students perform math on a grade level, according to the 2021 star performance data. So Krista Tyler, who mocks evangelicals and parents or anyone as a bigot that she doesn't agree with, would rather promote Lawn Boy, which includes long sections of a boy reminiscent about explicit experiences at 10 years old, and genderqueer, a memoir that includes photos of sexual acts between a man and a boy. Now, I wanted to make sure I got that right because I want people watching to understand the contrast. You can be all you want to be as a child, but only 8% and 11% of Hispanics and blacks get to do it. But you don't have the other numbers from the star data. No. But this is what's being pushed in school versus education by Krista Tyler. And Griff Orlando Salinas, he's a father of one child in Round Rock. And he said to Fox News, the opinions of the teacher who recently spoke at the board meeting illustrate the utter disconnect some teachers have with their communities. Parents such as myself are increasingly uh, participating in school board meetings because we see firsthand the detrimental detri uh, okay. effects that wokeism has had on our schools and our children. A lot of parents, Griff, are really upset about this. And there's a political dynamic, Carly, and that is just ask Glenn Youngkin, who turned the Republican Party into the party of parents because of what we've seen near where I am in Loudoun County. I think there's a Susian message for Democrats if they want to lose in next year's midterms, that famous, oh, the places you'll go today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. That way is massive losses because parents ultimately have a fundamental right to what their children are being taught and to mock them as brainless, bigoted kooks just isn't going to play well. I'm not even sure this teacher really can grasp the the political divisiveness that she's created with that. Yeah, Dr. Sapphire, what's your reaction to this teacher's comments on parents? You know, Carly, I, the irony is not lost that you have this educator who's supposed to be a leader in the community who's going up and is reading an elementary level Dr. Seuss-like poem mocking parents. And this is what she's doing in a public forum. Imagine what is being said behind the scenes yeah. by this technology teacher. And, you know, Carly, when you have you have these skilled workers, say, filling in potholes, but the, the person who's filling in those potholes every day, they don't actually have a say over which potholes being filled and where. They are the workers. They are there because you have elected officials who have been elected by tax-paying individuals, and that is why they're there. The teachers are the exact same way. They are not there to say that their beliefs should be influenced on these children. It is the rights of the parents and the tax-paying individuals who elect their leaders, who elect their school board members, and that is where the content is. And by the way, the reality is that school board had pulled 11 books because they found that there were more sexual pages and information in it than deemed acceptable. So therefore, for the parents are on their side of the right as well as the school board there and you just have this one teacher who's just going off giving her own beliefs yet she's calling the parents bigots that in itself is a bigot yeah with that well her, this teacher's name is Krista Tyler she did not respond to Fox News's request for comment and a spokesperson for the school district said staff were out of office for holidays and could not comment um, real quick David where do you how do you think this ends well, I don't know where it ends, but I think I'll take what Griff said and what Nicole said, and we'll probably talk about this later today in the 5 o'clock show, that parents are getting more involved. And Nicole's point about what's being done behind closed doors and Griff's point about the politics, that plays to the school boards. And Americans need to take back their school boards, kick teachers, or at least pretend teachers, that's what she really is, like Krista Tyler, out of their schools so their children have a higher graduation rate, a higher functional education rate, and meet actual standards where they're not the people 
just doing the lower end jobs for the rest of their lives. Yeah, well, there's going to be a lot of people watching um, Fox News later today because it is a holiday. Everybody's cozying up on their couch uh, watching Fox News, hopefully. So, Griff, what can we expect coming up on the big show other than this topic? Well, it's not just big. It's enormous. It's huge tonight because it's the last big show of 2021. Oh, Think yeah. how big that is. Right. It's massive. It's so massive, I'm not even going to tell you what we're talking about. <laughs> is that because you Stay haven't gotten the rundown yet? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <clears throat> <laughs> All right. Well, we will certainly be watching Griff, Dr. Sapphire, David, and Lisa Booth is also going to be on. What a great lineup for the last big show of 2021. Can't wait it. Can't wait for for more in 2022 as well. Thanks, guys. Thanks for waking up early. Thank you. Thank you, Carly. All See right. you guys. See You're ya. Out.